world's weirdest restaurants takes you to Taipei, where you're served up curry in a crazy commode. You don't want to know what is in the toilet. I can't believe this. Then, we're off to Portland to witness a wild wedding in a donut shop. We're a full-service wedding chapel. This is crazy. We'll jet to Germany, where technology meets tradition. It's hard to tell if I'm in an amusement park or a restaurant. And stop in Edmonds, Washington, where lunch has gone to the dogs. Literally. Do I have to bag a rollover during yeah. the trip? No, I no. I'll, I'll let you off the hook. Want to dine like royalty in a porcelain throne? Well, welcome to Taipei's Modern Toilet, where everything you love about the bathroom is right at the dinner table. Welcome. Thank you. Oh. Inspired by a Japanese comic character, Modern Toilet mixes bathroom humor with gourmet Taiwanese cuisine. Oh, this is the waiting area? Yes. You can wait on a toilet seat. So when a customer walks in here for the first time, what's their reaction? They feel shocked. So shocked. Wow, this is crazy. I'm sitting on a toilet seat, about to eat over a sink. There's urinals on the wall, a shower curtain, showers. It's yeah. weird. Very, very weird. On the menu, there's traditional Taiwanese food and Western dishes, like seafood pasta and breaded pork chops. And what's the most popular dish? Chill chicken. Oh, spicy. A little spicy, but it will feel refreshed. Well, that's perfect. If it gets too spicy, I don't have far to go. I also had my eye on a hot pot. I'll have one of each. Okay, thank you. I gotta tell you, I mean, just based on the surroundings, I'm a little bit nervous about what the food's gonna be like. I can't believe this. Look how far they've taken the theme. The seats are actual toilets. The tables are sinks and tubs. And then look at the lights. I mean, you know what that is, right? You know, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, this modern toilet, probably this teeny little restaurant. Uh-uh, there's three floors here. Let's check out the top floor. It's crazy, look how many people are here. So you have no idea what it is you're eating, and you're eating it out of a toilet bowl, but somehow this is all right? That's the beauty of the experience. <laughs> That's a much, you don't want to know what is in the toilet. Look at this, believe it or not, this isn't a toilet. The sink, you wash your hands. Crazy. So you've never eaten out of any kind of toilet bowl before? No. no. In my country, there is no restaurant like this. No toilet restaurants in that? No. no. I think it's a unique experience. Well, definitely unique. There's the chicken curry. I can't believe this. And look at the hot pot bubbling. Here's the appetizer. Oh, of course, right underneath the poo top. Wait, there's more. Wow. Yeah. It's chili sauce and rice. Looks like some pretty fine food. So everybody likes to eat out yeah. of the toilet? Yeah, everybody likes to eat. <laughs> yeah. Here's your drink. Green oh, tea. nice, thank you. Yeah, Hello. as if eating out of the toilet bowl wasn't enough, I get to drink out of a bedpan. Is there anything that you wouldn't eat out of a toilet bowl? Oh, <laughs> the obvious, I guess. <laughs> I mean, look how generous this hot pot is. I've got whole shrimp, fish balls, calamari, tofu, enoki mushrooms, Check out the chicken curry here. Got raisins, carrots, dark chicken meat. Hard to decide which toilet bowl I should jump into first. I'm sure I can do this. Does anyone ever turn around and leave? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe some just a little. You can do it! Oh, the chicken is super luscious. It's like it's been raised in all these juices. There's even some kind of cinnamon or something. Just mix that up with the broth here. Oh, wow. These flavors are pretty sophisticated, coming out of a toilet bowl. When I'm eating this food, I feel like I'm in a fancy restaurant. But then when I see that I'm eating out of a toilet bowl, it really messes with the mind. Is there anybody who doesn't think the food is funny? No, they were. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I just want to get this straight. Here you are sitting over a steaming toilet bowl of chicken curry. So does this not just seem a little bit weird? I try hard not to think it's food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's really crazy about this place? They've taken everything that we would traditionally hide behind the bathroom door and they put it front and center like they're proud of it. Would you eat out of a toilet at home? 
No. <laughs> you ever bring a date here? No. <laughs> so, what's the verdict? It's actually pretty delicious. Only in Taipei. Only in Taipei. <laughs> and what about the ice cream? Number two. Here's a number two. <laughs> oh, it's number two on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> if you asked me to invest in a toilet-themed restaurant, I would say you were out of your mind. But somehow, they've managed to take a taboo subject and make it universally appealing. And then the kicker, is that the food is amazing. It's no wonder this place is packed. Come to the modern toilet. And the best part is, when you leave, you can take part of modern toilet home with you. Modern toilet is Taiwanese cuisine, served up with a healthy dose of bathroom humor. So have you put it on your resume that you work at Modern Toilet? Yes, of course. Uh, do potential employers think that you're a plumber? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Portland is a city known for its eccentric personalities, artistic vibe, and creative restaurants. And I found a place that combines all three, where the whole is so much greater than the sum of its parts. Voodoo Donuts is about having the craziest donut shop in the world. Wow, check this place out. Look at this. Look at all these, like, little voodoo dolls, holy water. And over here, look at this. It's like the black magic corner. Check this out. Some people are obviously here to get some donuts before they get married. They're going to get married here at Voodoo Donut. We're a full-service wedding chapel, 360 days a year. Wait, you guys are getting married here for Our real? Couple. For real. For live? Real. Right here? Is this like the Voodoo Donut wedding chapel? This is a very holy place. If you know. This is crazy. I can't yeah. believe I'm in a donut joint about to see a wedding. Amazing. I mean, what an incredible array of shapes and colors and sizes. In the heart of Portland's old town, Voodoo Donut is a temple to the greatest food to ever have a hole. It all began as one night, and spirits appeared to us and told us to apply sugar to the masses. Huge selection of donuts. I've never seen anything like before. You can get bacon on a donut. You can get the biggest donut you've ever seen. It's bigger than your head. Can I help who's next? Well, this is my very first time here, so uh, what are you recommending? Well, I would first start off with our signature voodoo doll. It's blood filled with raspberry jelly. Hex your ex if you need to. The finishing touch to this donut is the pretzel. You've got to have something to stab. Right, that would be me. Pretend like they're your ex-boyfriend or your boss. Ow! <laughs> then we have our bacon maple bar right here. It's a maple bar with two strips of fully cooked bacon on it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I can't decide between all those, so I think I'll just have one of each. It's just getting better. Check out the wedding party here. They're easy to identify. They're the ones with the red noses. We do weddings at Voodoo Donut because if we're going to practice some sort of voodoo, you're supposed to do rites. And what better and nicer thing to do than a marriage rite? How did you guys choose to get married at Voodoo Donut? Uh, well, our dog really likes donuts. I'm at a donut shop with a couple who are about to get married because their dog told them to get married here. <laughs> Look at all these different colors and textures and shapes. What are you looking at? The fanaticism that people have for donuts. Is people love donuts, you know? Wow, you know, you can tell by the number of racks of donuts and the crowd in this place that they do some serious volume here. People come here because of the good vibes and the friendly staff. They come here for, I think it's for something different. What do you think of it? I've never seen anything like it. Really? How often do you come here? As often as I can get to Portland. We're from Chicago. Out here on a road trip, just couldn't pass through Portland without stopping in our favorite donut restaurant. Actually, you know what? I think I have enough to go around. I'll share with you if you want. Let's start with this one. The voodoo doll. The donut itself is like so soft and chewy. They got that amazingly delicious jelly filling. Delicious. Each and every donut is made by hand, starting with the dough, which they make fresh from scratch every day. We had to go to donut camp, and we learned from these grizzled veterans how to make donuts. This is where the Portland cream gets its creamy center. Nice. Can you do a double injection? I can. Oh. One more. Take me up one more. Go! <laughs> it's not rocket science, but it is science. And that's why donuts are so fattening. Saving the best for last. Maple bacon donut. Look at that. Beautiful crisp bacon. Oh, man. The saltiness of the bacon, the sweetness of the maple. Mmm. That is donut heaven. Woo! Woo! Trace
Chris and I do a majority of the weddings, but it's become so popular, we even have a couple of backups now. Is there some love in the house? We've probably done, I don't know, a couple of hundred, maybe more. Ask the great spirits above. It's great spirits. Is this love true? Will it last forever? Please tell me so. Let the doubt, the fear cast away. The time to kiss your bride is today. I mean, let's get this straight. That was a real wedding. This wasn't just for fun or for anything like that. That was an actual wedding. <laughs> That's the most amazing wedding cake I've ever seen. Or wedding donut, as the case may be. Congratulations. How, how do you feel now? Holy. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you could just write these off as donuts, but every one of them is a statement. It's like a work of art. It's a mastery of combinations of flavors. And it's not just selling donuts. It's about selling donuts. It's about having fun. It's a very special treat. They love it. I love it, too. And <laughs> yeah, we want to spend the rest of our lives doing the coolest donuts we could possibly do. We're working on it. Our wedding was awesome. We're married at Voodoo Donuts. At some restaurants, the waiters run circles around you. But here at Spoggers in Nuremberg, Germany, the food does it all by itself. It's hard to tell if I'm in an amusement park or a restaurant. Looking more like a roller coaster than a restaurant, Spaggers merges modern technology with good old-fashioned gravity to dish up traditional Bavarian cuisine. Spagas is a restaurant where you can order with uh, touch screens and it transports uh, food and the drinks with the rail system. I can see all three levels of the restaurant. There's the main level up here, this very small level in the middle, and then downstairs, there's a complete floor of tables. And each one of these rail systems goes to a different part of the restaurant. Spagas is a restaurant where the delivery system becomes the entertainment. The dish comes down the rail onto this first rack, which spins around like a lazy Susan. How long does it take from the time you send a meal out at the top of the rail till the time it hits the table? 10 seconds. <laughs> so here we go. My drink, dishes, ah, schnitzel, noodles, fried chicken, a stuffed baked potato, an assortment of stews, and their own signature desserts. Home-cooked pumpkin cream soup with honey. That sounds amazing. Order now? Cool. Coming up to the kitchen, which is on the very top floor of this restaurant. It's like Command Central up here. And basically, all these meals are coming straight to this spot here. There's a special holder that makes sure the lid is held down to the pot. And they get dropped onto one of these rails. At Spagas, I think we have about 500 meters railway system. I thought it was very cool with all those things coming down from the kitchen above. And there she goes! <laughs> I love that. It's amazing for the kids. They like it, how it works. Yeah. Now, why are you serving that in a jar like that? We serve it in a bottle, but it uh, don't stink out. Oh, yeah, duh. If they put hot soup in a bowl down one of these rails, it could go all over all the customers. My soup. What is, like, typical Bavarian food? Schweinsbraten. Fine, fine, big. Big, yes. <laughs> yeah, my soup. I'm dying to taste this soup. Looks gorgeous. Oh, amazing. That's an incredibly rich pumpkin soup. Very, very creamy. A lot of pure pumpkin flavor in that. Apple strudel. Arnold Schwarzenegger's favorite dessert, apple strudel. I think that might be mine. It's a pumpkin seed crusted pork chop on a bed of noodles. This is surprisingly beautiful, considering the fact that this restaurant is so full of bells and whistles. I didn't expect the food to be as fancy as it is. So what have you ordered here? Oh, you don't speak German? Uh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> the clever thing about these pots is that it keeps everything tightly packed so when it goes around, it doesn't spill. It also keeps it really warm. And then the idea is to plate it yourself. Schnitzel. 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 Here in Germany? How unusual. 
gorgeous. No German meal would be complete without the noodles. That is brilliant. The meat is incredibly tender, and this nut crust, I've never seen anything like a whole nut crusted piece of meat before. Do you know all about Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, I know him. You know him personally? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the fitness studio. <laughs> The way the food gets to the table may be what's unique about this restaurant, but this food, it's well executed, it's local, it's incredibly delicious. Just look at these kids' faces. It's like they're at an amusement park. What do you think of this delivery system? I think it's very cool. So how's the service here? The service is nice because there isn't any service menu. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Good thing I was paying attention. Woo, that's hot, too. I would like to have a system like this in my house. That would be nice. Ah, look at that. My apple strudel. A classic Bavarian dessert right here at the heart of Bavaria. Delicious apple flavor just jumps right out at you. And then it's followed by that nice, creamy vanilla sauce. You know why this place works? It's because it combines the best of German technology, engineering, and contemporary cuisine. It's about noon on Sunday, and Grandma is having a beer with her lunch. And not even thinking twice about it. Prost. Nothing's more satisfying than treating your best friend to a great meal, especially when they roll over and beg for seconds. And that's exactly what happens right here in Edmonds, Washington. Hey, Ruthie, there's your doggy pate. I love dogs, and I wanted to pamper them and have a nice place to go and have dinner, like we can. Dining Dog Cafe is a full-service dog restaurant where canine fashion complements an upscale menu. The menu here is like at a fine restaurant that I would go to. But if you walk on two legs, don't expect to be served. Clearly, it's, it's gone to the dogs. Hot dog bites for you two, babies. So, Dorothy, what are the dogs in for tonight? They're in for a four-course meal, doggy cocktails, appetizers, entree, and dessert. Open three days a week, the cafe serves 50 dogs a day. Many of the dogs are regulars, and they know it so well, they lead their owners to their own reserved table. I come here because it's Peanut's favorite place on earth. They know they're going to be pampered and waited on and to eat off a gold platter. What does this meal cost for the doggies? Four course meal is $10. Four course meal is $10? How do you do that? I love the dogs. <laughs> I do it for the dogs. Who's this? That's Bo. That's Bo. Why is Bo so dressed up? It's his birthday today. And is this Bo's date? Yes, it is. <laughs> Here you go, Darby. Here's your doggy cocktail, your chow teeny. Wow. This is a chow teeny with low sodium chicken broth diluted with water. That sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, hang on. Don't tell me that you guys both arrived and they were wearing the same outfits. Is that what happened? Because that would be really embarrassing. Oh. Oh, come on, Bo. I don't want to see you drooling over your date like that. We're going to do doggy pate. And what is this made from? This is from beef and liver, cream cheese. What are you putting on? What is this? And this is actually a peanut butter cookie. OK, Mark, Margie, there's your doggy pate. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. You know, there's a few restaurants I've been to that I don't think knock out appetizers that are that pretty. The food here is great. It's homemade. Makes them happy. I've worked in lots of restaurants where I waited on people, and now I wait on dogs. You wouldn't find this in my house. You got a dog on the table. And who's this? This is Lexi. Looks like Lexi and I share the same barber, too. Noel, what do you think of this? Your date's kind of passing out in the middle of dinner. There's going to be no action later on tonight, I can tell you that. I mean, look around. You've got a restaurant full of dogs. Their masters are taking it completely seriously. The chef owner is more committed to her craft than many restaurateurs I've ever met. I prefer working with dogs more than people, because they love you no matter what. They're happy to see you, and they wag their tails, they kiss you. Dorothy puts her heart and soul into every meal that she prepares. So what do the doggies get for their entree tonight? A combination of chicken breast and roast served with broccoli and carrots. OK, is this like fit for human consumption beef? This is a regular beef roast, just baked, no seasoning. Can I have a little taste of it, see what it tastes yeah, like? Yeah, if you like. Do I have to like, beg or roll over during yeah, the trick? No, I you don't. I'll, I'll let you off back. 
No, that's just like nice pot roast. Those are lucky doggies. Beef, grilled chicken, broccoli, and carrots. What happens when you take Charlie home and you just feed Charlie plain old dog food? Charlie doesn't eat plain old dog food. No. Do some of the dogs complain about the small portions? Sometimes they get seconds or maybe thirds if they're good. Charlie does commercials. Does Charlie have an agent? <laughs> I am Charlie's agent. Right. Yeah, are you looking for any other clients? Oh, sure, sure. I think I could probably get you a job. These are doggy cupcakes, and these are heart-shaped flour cookies. Could I actually eat it myself? You could. It's a little bland, but you could try one. Oh, that's real peanut butter. It's a, a wee bit dry, kind of a little bit oaty, but it's pretty darn good. I, I think Bob needs a cocktail at this point. Okay. <laughs> yeah, is that her natural color, or? Yeah, she's born that way. She's born that way. <laughs> You know, I think the weirdest thing about this place is that after a while, it just doesn't seem so weird. <laughs> Bo, is your birthday. Oh, yeah. look at that. Happy birthday, Bo. How old's Bo? He's seven. You're looking pretty good for 49. Yeah. How old is Noel? She's three. She's three. <laughs> Hang on. So that would be 21. <laughs> and you're 49, you old dog? <laughs> <laughs>